Welcome back to Great Day Houston. Big Brothers Big Sisters gives adults the opportunity to make a big difference in a child's life. The Bigs in Blue program gives members of law enforcement in particular a chance to mentor kids as well. On Tuesday, they'll come together for National Night Out. Joining us with details are Alex Daly with Big Brothers Big Sisters and Connor Hagan with the Houston FBI. Hey, hey, Hello how there. Are you? Hey. Good. All right, so we're used to, to Big Brothers Big Sisters matching um, ch kids with, with adults just from all parts of the community, yep. but this is a little more refined. Exactly. So Big Brothers Big Sisters has three programs. This is our Beyond School Walls program, where we take children from a school site and bring them into either a workplace, or in this case, a workplace that has law enforcement agents readily available to mentor children from the High School for Law and Justice. When you were in high school, Connor, did you know what you wanted to be when you grew up? You know, I'm Irish Catholic, so it was either going into the priesthood <laughs> or being a police officer. Yeah, right. One or the other. So you had an idea about law enforcement, but then narrowed it down to FBI because why? Some mentorship in your life? You know, yes. Um, I wasn't with the Big Brothers Big Sisters program, but there were some great FBI agents who uh, looked after me in high school and in college, checked in with me. You know, and it, it went, you know, a couple weeks in between, but they'd send me texts and just see how I was doing. That meant, you know, made a world of difference to me. So. Yeah. So with the kids who are matched up with the folks in blue, yep. when they go into the workplace, that is a game changer because it's not in a book anymore. It's, it's not a movie. It's not the Equalizer or anything like that, right? Yeah. But it's it's real life experience where they really can interact and talk with people. Absolutely. It's the impact at entry. When you take a student from a high school that is specialized in law and justice and you walk them into the FBI where people are literally doing the jobs that these children aspire to, the impact at entry to those students is they can see themselves there. They can feel, them, feel themselves there and they can imagine themselves there in their future yeah and for a lot of those kids uh, having a career like that was really not part of their family structure right I mean I think in a lot of these neighborhoods where police are serving every day children are looked are raised to see police in one way and I think what you often find is that these children when embraced by law enforcement and mentored by law enforcement they can start to see these people as resources to help them succeed in life as opposed to things that keep them from doing things in life yeah and Connor uh, we talk about the FBI there's it's got a lot long storied history sure. uh, but I think a lot of us have a very narrow view of what it is so when the kids come in they see that the careers are varied absolutely I mean we have the basic special agent position but we also have what I do media and public relations we have community outreach specialists we have forensic accountants we have mechanics we have a nurse I mean we have all sorts of, of job opportunities for people who and they all contribute to the team mm -hmm. So when these kids come in, maybe they're looking at law enforcement as a career, which is awesome. But maybe they also might see, hey, there's other ways I can help the FBI or you know the law enforcement uh, group in America in general, and, and it works out really well. I think that yeah. diversity. Tell us about National Night Out. What that is? So National Night Out is a celebration of community partnerships and police. And what we're doing at Big Brothers Big Sisters on October second is basically celebrating those three things. We're bringing the police, the community, and this partnership that Big Brothers Big Sisters has with those two entities in celebration at our building. So the community is welcome to join us here at Big Brothers Big Sisters, yeah, which is basically where we shoot our <laughs> exactly. show. Yeah, 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 it's yeah. where you call home and just celebrate the relationship and the benefits that will come from an even flow of communication between community police and partners. Yeah, and this is one of those things that's so needed because whenever you put it out there, you always have more kids waiting to get in Absolutely. than are things available. What would you say to an organization to get them to open up and take some of these kids in and be mentors, whether it's in the medical field or whatever? Do it. Absolutely do it. You know, the FBI, we have a lot of requirements that we have to go through, security, legal, all of that type of stuff. If the FBI can do it and work it out with Big Brothers Big Sisters, I highly encourage any other organization to do the same. Work it out internally. Alex is fantastic to work with. Um, we haven't started our program just yet, but we are really looking forward to uh, participating as Bigs in you yeah. know in the Beyond School Walls program. All right, and and, and participating in general, uh, we say this all the time that that kids who are with their Bigs, as they call them, I, I love when you call me a Big. Okay, but anyway, we would change that name. <laughs> anyway, um, but the great thing about it is that you go in thinking you're going to help that child. Yeah. Really, that child gets so much more, uh, or, or the person who volunteers gets so much more out of it yeah. oftentimes because you're able to really change the trajectory of where a child's life can go. We've had several of those those folks on our show because over yeah. what, about 68 years now, Big yeah. Big Sisters has been making those differences. For 68 years in Houston, mentors have been making small but consistent changes in children's futures. And I think these kids have incredible potential, and what mentors do is help them navigate from high school to career 
careers. And that's what all of our programs aim to do, is place adults in children's lives so that they can help them get to where they're already destined to go. Yeah, interesting, uh, something, a little side note, the FBI, you said you guys are, are, are and gals, are, are in the schools more now than ever, and particularly busy over the last few weeks. Absolutely, so we have a new campaign, it's called the Think Before You Post campaign. And what it is, is it's basically explaining to students and the community at large that hoax threats are not a joke. You can face up to five years in federal prison for a hoax threat. It wastes law enforcement time and resources. It creates panic in the public. It's not a good thing to do. So if kids are posting threats, even if they're fake, even if the intent yeah, yeah, is not real. because you've been real, responding to them. You've been going out and exactly, responding to these. Exactly. If kids are thinking about posting a threat on social media or anywhere, uh, on schools or communities, you know, targeting people, don't do it. Think before you post because the repercussions and the consequences, they're real and it's going to hit home. You know, one of the things that we've really seen uh, is a bond between local school law enforcement and the FBI in dealing with these threats and every police officer I talk to from local ISDs, mm -hmm. they're saying we really need to get this message out. We need to push it. We also it. rely on some of those kids to also, you know, you see something, say something type yeah. of thing. Absolutely. And we really urge kids as well, if they see a threat, say something, don't pass it along. Right. You know, don't screenshot it and put it on your Snapchat story or your Instagram account. Just stop the cycle where it is, report it to the proper authorities, and, and, and we'll take it from there. Yeah, all right. So if what, someone wants to be a, a big? They reach out to us at bbbstx.org. Um, and I think they just let us know. Come join us on National Night Out. We will follow up. Yeah, National Night Out takes place next Tuesday from 6.30 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. at Big Brothers Big Sisters. For more information, visit bbbstx.org. And I just want to say that uh, you have so many kids who are on the waiting list, especially right. young boys who are looking for men to be mentors. So if you're a guy who can step up, you certainly have people ready to, to, to do that. And you match them so they have kind of right. like interests and stuff. So you literally almost have like your big brother, your big sister there. We set them up to succeed exactly all right thank you very much thank you very much for what y'all are you. doing thank you all for watching have a great day hope to see you again next time